Hello everybody, welcome back, bike over here, toxic talk, welcome, beautiful morning, nice, blue sky. So let's talk hyper-Bitcoinization, hyper-Bitcoinization. You know, it's all up to you to, you know, decide in which, which position you want to be. You want to be on the Bitcoin standard. You want to be 100% or 50%, 25%. It really depends. On, it's up to you how much you want to be on the Bitcoin economy. So, and it's opt-in. It's not recommended. It's not like there's no pressure on where you want to be. The hyper-Bitcoinization concept is an interesting one because it assumed that a lot like a massive adoption of Bitcoin. Now I don't I don't hate or like it in any way, but the only problem I think is the fact that you know we're expecting like all these people to adopt it. Right? Even the internet is not fully adopted yet. Now, you still have countries where People don't have access to internet. Even sometimes, um, I don't have internet on me. Um, sometimes, right? So you 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 have to assume that you know things may not be uh, uh, that good all the time. Right? Sometimes you may expect you may you may think that hyperbitcoinization. Yes, it could happen. But I don't, I don't really care about hyper Bitcoinization, right? So right now I can decide on how much I want to be on Bitcoin, right? You can just hyper Bitcoinize your family. You can hyper Bitcoinize yourself, right? So you don't have to wait until the whole world, the whole world, you know, use Bitcoin. I don't care if if they want to use it, they use it, right? I mean, the majority of the world is smart, right? I think the majority of the world is smart. Like they are smart people. So they will quickly recognize that and they will see and they will see the advantage of it and they will use it, right? So you have, like, it's all a matter of time. It's patient and it's all about your time horizon and your, your uh, you know, your time preference, right? So if you, you choose a low time preference, you will see the adoption is growing very fast, right? And it's only a matter of time until more, more and more people get it. I'm on the highway now, so I may have to raise my voice a little bit, but yeah. So when you have, you know, hyper Bitcoinization is not really something you should, you know, really care about. If you are, you know, DCA and to Bitcoin, and you know, it's all just wait when they get to that. You know, when the people, you know, start to getting it, start to understand it, right? And I, I would hope that the world would be on a Bitcoin standard, uh, so more things would be more fair, right? Big countries wouldn't go and um, and uh, kind of uh, colonize smaller countries, take advantage of them, right? We would be freer, uh, things would be fairer, right? It wouldn't be a proof of stake where, you know, the more money you have, the more, you know, you influence and the more power you get, right? So it wouldn't be like that. It would be um, proof of work. It would be um, like less violence, less war, because those things would be unaffordable, right? So these are these are the things I would hope in a Bitcoinized world. I'm not hoping like for rich people and rich Bitcoiners and stuff like that. I don't think it really matters because even if you have a lot of satoshis, right, it wouldn't help you if you not keep getting more. Right? If you're just spending your satoshis, somebody else is stacking from you, right? So they are stacking from you, and you're losing your sats. So you have to keep on working keep on providing value to keep your satoshis, right? So 
hoping that you know we, move, we quickly go to hyper Bitcoinization world right just to get rich doesn't make sense you have to uh, keep on educating keep on teaching your friends your family and then you know step by step slowly uh, we move because we want I want people to benefit you know from Bitcoin I want them to protect themselves from the fiat slavery world right so I'm not hoping that people move to Bitcoin so my I can my my bag can grow I'm just hoping so that people can um, you know get it right so so they can protect themselves right and people in places like Africa the places places like South America and so many places where there's a high risk of money confiscation and hyperinflation this people need Bitcoin right so these are the people I would like to have to help get the Bitcoin right so that's why I I like you know donate to uh, companies like um, me premier Bitcoin educational companies that are helping you know people to um, you know learn about it to understand it and right? teaching people who need it the most right so now yes I'm making a podcast maybe you guys uh, need some understanding right so that's good but I need to uh, do more I need to support these companies I may not be able to be there right now right but I can uh, work you know mine some fiat and and finance those companies so they can help right so that those are the things right and gi- all this also gives you purpose in life right? if you are you know when you do things like that and you know this this gives you purpose this gives you uh, a reason to exist right? So, yeah, so that's what I like, and uh, and I and I suggest you guys to do the same if you could, if you have, right? if you don't have, that's fine. But if you have, you know, just a few stats, right? I'm not talking about like uh, you know, hundred thousands. So I'm not talking about like a million. So I'm talking about like a few stats, right? Anything help? Right? So, yes. I just uh, wanted to cover this uh, this morning um, because uh, this hyper infl- hyper Bitcoinization um, it's going to, it's going to happen it's going to happen with hyper um, inflation right? so the more fiat screw up right the more the fiat world is scrambling uh, the more Bitcoin is rising you see so when banks fail uh, Bitcoin rise because it was built for this right so this is uh, just what it is it's all about your time and people are gonna blame the Bitcoin for the collapse but what they don't understand it's like the fiat system is collapsing itself right it's it's collapse it's collapsing on its own nobody is doing anything it's just collapse collapsing on, on, on its own so it's their fault to collapse themselves so it's not Bitcoin fault Bitcoin is just a solution to the problem right so it's not like because of bitcoin and then everything start collapsing they already co- collapsed before bitcoin right like the first big collapse happened in 2008 now, even before that you have like so many banks collapsed like in the history of you know these countries right so it's not because of bitcoin but it's because of themselves the banks and and the system itself the way it's designed it's a debt based system in a debt based system you expect you know things to collapse on the, on the own because in the debt there's nothing on debt right when you own somebody something you just promise right it promise just words right it, it, these are not just words on the paper or something it's like it, it does, it's nonsense right so that's why you see you don't have fi- you know finite you know cash finality right finite transaction uh, right so in Bitcoin you have finality right if I send you a sat it's a sat right? it's on your phone you can transact you can send it anywhere in the world right you, you have cash finality so in fiat right? you, you don't have that very much right you have like more paper gold right there's uh, all those uh, certificates right you know these treasuries right all this nonsense 
these are the problem of the system right so they are not real right so if you want to buy something you want to make sure you have it on your own let's say you might, the, the way the fiat system works the banking financial system works it's like you go to the grocery store and you you buy food you order food and they send you a certificate of the food they say oh this is the food but it's never with the food right can you eat it right? can you eat the, the food no right so that's a problem with the system it's like it's all fake it's not real so it's all based on a promise so that's a problem right but if you have a system based on reality you will so bitcoin that's why i like i like about the fact that it does it's not backed by any nonsense gold or anything like that because anytime you say something is backed by something it's a fool's game because it's the, the problem with it it's just like the u.s dollar right it was backed by gold right so yeah, the other the dollar was backed by gold it take only nixon one declaration to make things you know to to evaporate the wolves right so to break the walls, it's just one thing. You just say one announcement of a single man decided that, you know, change a whole pros the, the prosperity and wealth of everybody, right? Who hold those certificates, hold those US dollars, right? Devaluating the money, right? Drastically, right? Since 1971, look at what the fuck happened, right? So sorry for the word, but that's the website that's a the value of UTF happened in 1971, right? So it's a it's it's a reality, right? So yeah, so you need to um, realize yourself what what what's going on, right? So um, that, that thing, right? So you need uh, that uh, when I say Bitcoin is not backed by uh, any uh, by uh, any of those nonsense like gold. Or, uh, papers stuff like that bitcoin is backed by itself right so bitcoin was traded like for nothing before it was traded for money right so uh, it was like leaving people you first transaction satoshi sent to halfany right so it was not because of money it was because of okay because he's supporting the project is contributing to the project he's f this for your participation right so he's giving his time his energy his his uh, mind right his knowledge to the project so he's is he can get compensated right that's why when you converting your workforce money your time into bitcoin right you just simply moving you're not just buy simply just buy bitcoin you move you converting your energy from fake papers to from fake digit on a computer to real thing in the real uh, in our world in our physical world because bitcoin is is connected to the physical world right all these computers all these miners they are on the physical world they are using real energy right and it does this energy that it doesn't discriminate what is the green what is not green all this nonsense it doesn't know it those are just computers right so it will be that you know the evolution of us human beings of how we treat ourselves how we, how we you know value ourselves better right so the, every time you convert your time and energy into will in our real world, right, you value yourself, you upgrade yourself, right? So, but when you put your time and energy on a computer digits, on a bank account that somebody can just print trillions of, you know, and then you degrade yourself, right? You make, you, you lower yourself, right? You, 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 you lower your self-esteem. Right? But every time you convert your time and energy into Bitcoin, you upgrade your self-esteem. So this is what how I see it. And uh, and about the hyper Bitcoinization thing, it's all depend on us. Right? We we can wanna uh, have communities, little communities, provide value, do little things, and do some trading on our on our own 
uh, you have like people who have Bitcoin beef initiative uh, you know you have like people just uh, selling eggs and stuff in Satoshi's and Bitcoin you're accepting Bitcoin in countries like El Salvador and all those things this is the Bitcoin economy right so this is what make us this is it's already happening when I go to El Salvador I see a hyper Bitcoinization there it's already happened people are just get asking me it's money for them it's like hey I will take your money I'll take your Bitcoin this, this I'll take the stats this is money right so this is the thing so anyways guys this was the toxic talk for today by cover and I'll see you in the next toxic talk <laughs>